Well, that's an interesting question, and I think it's a, a really important one, too. You know, so many people that start businesses used to be in big companies, and so they're used to having a CFO and a CMO and a CTO and a chief strategy officer. And when you become an entrepreneur, you have to be all of those things. And I think the number one important thing that an entrepreneur has to do is sell stuff, uh, be a, a marketer. And so if you don't know that skill set, you're going to have to learn it. Uh, when I started my first business, I was very shy and introverted and would never do any of the sales myself, but eventually I had to learn to, to do it. And so I think that over time, you're going to have to learn some set of marketing skills. Uh, Chris is really strong on, and Chris has the great video on how to back into your uh, marketing objectives, and he'll talk about that, I'm sure. But the number one thing I'd like to point out is that you're going to have to develop a ability to go out there and, and sell stuff. And uh, if it means going to uh, these breakfasts and these lunches and dinners that they have all over town, you know, there's a function every meal that uh, you could go to where you can go out and practice selling yourself. You know, Toastmasters or anything where you can get good at selling yourself every single day. Yeah. And uh, uh, one of the things as, as uh, you know, when you when you become an entrepreneur, you've got to move from being the doer of the thing that you do to the marketer of the thing that you do before you become the owner of the thing that you do. And so uh, one of the most liberating things to me as a business owner was learning that sales is a process because I used to think that that marketing meant go hire a salesperson and they go make sales for you. But that's basically taking your, um, your business and putting it in control of somebody else. You're putting your destiny in somebody else's hands. And, and so the idea of, you know what, sales is a process. So I, you know, I can figure out a process or a system to, you know, when the phone call, when I make a phone call, what do I say, what do I don't say? When I set up the appointment, what do I do, what do I don't do, what, what do I bring? And then if I follow these steps in the system, then I can get a measurable response rate. And a good salesperson might get a better response rate, and, a, and a, uh, an average person might get, you know, uh, somewhat average or less less than average response rates. But the idea that I can measure every every aspect of that is is was pretty liberating to me as an entrepreneur. So so the idea that you can create a marketing system so that I can go to bed at night and know for sure how much income I'm going to make that month is is a pretty powerful one. I would add one thing. <clears throat> You don't start a business until you've sold something. The first step in, I think, the business creation process is selling it. And go out there and see if you can sell it. If you can't sell it, why incorporate a business that's going to do that? If you can't sell it, why make business cards? I would sell something first, learn the process, and you cannot hire it out. You can't outsource your marketing at first. You have to do it yourself and then teach people what worked and what uh, didn't work. I think the entrepreneur has to be the first original salesperson or the company will never work. Mm -hmm.